Hey everyone, I would like to take a moment to thank my amazing Patreon supporters. Thank you so much guys for supporting my Patreon this month. If you're interested, check the link out in the description. Hey guys, so I just finished filming up my March layout spread plan with me. I thought I would go ahead and immediately just film my current Halloween craft cart setup. I did this at the beginning of the year, that way I can have some of my craft supplies out so I'm able to craft easier because before that everything was just kind of put in the drawers and just in the closet and it wasn't accessible, not as fast or easy as I would like it. So I went ahead and just kind of did this cart as a quick little thing and I asked a few videos ago if you wanted to see it and some of you said yes so I thought I would go ahead and share with you what is on this Halloween craft cart. And if you guys haven't checked out my other videos, I've been doing plan with me videos, decorating like my monthly spreads with you all and you seem to enjoy that. So definitely check them out if you haven't. Raven's with me right now. So you're probably gonna hear her jingling. <laughs> As you can see, this is, and my voice is probably gonna sound like it's getting thrown all over the room just because I'm going back and forth from in front of the camera and behind. I just recently took all my Valoween stuff off my tree and I need to redecorate it so it looks a little, a little, a little plain. This is a three tier craft cart. I believe I got this at Target a long time ago. Let me go ahead and zoom in. So starting off, I have all sorts of little bits and pieces on here that I'm so, so excited to share with you guys and let me see if I can get closer. So I have everything separated in these little clear acrylic compartments like this. I got these on Amazon, I believe. I like them, but I wish that they were, I wish they were like 90 degree angles, but they're kind of curved. I don't know if you guys can tell. And this first little compartment, so pretty much I like to craft with all sorts of bits and pieces, things that you wouldn't even think to craft with. Um, so I like crafting with like picks, jewels, tags, bookmarkers. I don't even remember where I got most of the stuff just because it's been in my collection for some time or like the store at least but not the brand. I also like crafting with these jewels. These are like super easy to use. They have adhesive on the back. I like crafting with charms. I got these from Michaels I believe last year. I got them on clearance. I grabbed a few packs of those. Most of these are like food tags if that makes sense. I think these were Martha Stewart and it's like they're like place tags and table tags and stuff like that. These I got a long long time ago like over seven years ago. They are these little paper tags that you can put on straws. I also got these tags from Tuesday morning. I haven't been to Tuesday morning in a really really long time because the one here in Massachusetts it's like over an hour away I think but when I used to live in Kansas I had one right down the street and I would go all the time and I feel like they don't carry as good craft as good as crafts as they used to or maybe everyone's just catching on and going there now. I have a few of these glitter jack-o-lantern embellishments. A friend got these for me and I love them so much. Super easy to work with. You can add them to anything. She also got me these boo embellishments as you can see and these are both from recollections she got them as a lot like on ebay but i'm sure if you look up like halloween recollections you'll see and then i like working with die cuts a lot and so a lot of these i'll get from like halloween craft pack i'll get scrapbook paper and then i cut out the images just to kind of make my own die cuts so that's another Thing that you can do if you're not really finding a lot of Halloween crafts around you. Definitely worth it for me. So I just have a lot of these ready to go because I like adding them into my planner as you've noticed and then also I wanted to eventually start journaling like memory journaling and I haven't started that yet but I hope to because eventually I want to get a little photo printer so I'm able to print out some things just to add 
oops, just to add to my journal. Have some of this washi tape. You guys will see more of my washi tape as we get to the next shelf, but this was sent to me and I still have it. If you guys want like an easy way to store your craft tape, you can just put it on some vellum and wrap it around and it'll still stay sticky. I have more die cuts. I try to organize my things like in the style that it is. See, these kind of have like a more of a traditional style with like the colors and everything. I just love crafting with die cuts because they're so easy. You can layer them, you can make your own die cuts, you can add stuff to them. I also, if I get any kind of packaging with any Halloween stuff, I will cut it out to make my own die cut like I mentioned before. like. This came from a pair of socks that I was sent. It's like, oh, I definitely will use that uh, when I do journaling because we always get like pumpkin beer come October. These little scraps are just little pieces that I've used when I did my decorating my planners to sell them last year and the years before. I just try to keep everything together for the most part or I don't know, like, just so I can easily see it. I do need to organize some of my drawers because it's just been a mess. These are kind of like journaling cards or scrapbook cards, if you will. This next little container, I have all of these cutout stickers. This was from like a huge sheet that I got a long time ago and they're all die cut stickers. So those are really fun to work with. Just like a lot of spooky images, a lot of spooky titles. And then, Back here, I love, like I love any kind of Halloween goodie bags. Like I like doing treat bags. So a lot of these I got come Halloween. Most of them are from Michaels. Some of them are from Target just over the years, but I love working with paper clips because they're so, so easy to add. You can make your own embellishments to them. You can hand paint them. I have like some of these bat paper clip ones. I have some of these that say Gone Batty, Happy Halloween. Here's another set. Really cute. These clothes pins. I think I got a lot of them from Hobby Lobby too. Like I got these. You can actually ride on that. And then these ones were from Target, like in the dollar spot. You can definitely make your own too, I think. These may have come from Hobby Lobby too, but you can make these, you can paint them. And then I also love collecting paper and banner cardstock. I got a bunch of these from, I think, either the AC Moore, yeah. I think AC Moore, these are from American Crafts, but it's like a little banner kit setup and it's just easy because you can use these as journaling cards, you can make your own die cuts, you can build your own die cuts, make your own banner, use it as scrapbook paper, pretty much whatever you wanna do. So I have that there just because I like the color palette. And then I have some more little die cuts here. I love collecting spooky scrapbook paper, so I just have these little mini pads here. I have larger pads, but I just felt like it made more sense to keep the smaller ones out. I got this scrapbook paper pad. This was from Target. It was only $3, and it has all sorts of cute patterns in there. You can use this for the cards all sorts of stuff and then it also came with like a die cut tracer if you wanted to make some of those and then these are from recollections i got these from michael's this one is a hocus pocus theme this one i got a few years ago so it's pretty old this was like when they did the witches i don't know if you guys remember here's another recollections paper pad and uh, this one had like a lot of gold and I don't work with tons of gold. I know I should, but I love it because you can just cut all of these separated and make your own die cuts, make your own labels, really, really easy. Um, I think I showed you that. I got these. Oh, also another thing that you guys can do if you get Halloween cards, you can make your own die cuts. I had this Halloween card was sent to me, so I just removed the front of it. And although I do keep all of the mail that you guys send my way, which I'm so appreciative of it, 
Um, if there's anything that I know I can reuse, I'll like set it aside because I know I can, like I could cut this out and kind of make my own die cut. I could cut this out and I could cut these houses out and just kind of layer and make my own thing. So that's something you can do. And I'm obsessed with these paper pads. So this one is from Crate Paper. It is so, so cute. I just love that it's more of a rectangular pad and it has all sorts of things. I've used this one to the bone, so there's not much left into it, but a lot of times too, these paper pads will have artwork where it has like a saying on it or like a big image and you can frame them just to make your own spooky artwork. But I really loved this one because it just had like a lot of beautiful fall colors. Like all of those deep colors I loved. I have these little pumpkins and bats. This was like a garland set that I got from Michaels many, many years ago. I remember I used these on my Halloween invites one year. Um, but yeah, it's like they're not, it's not even something to scrap with. Like you're supposed to make an actual chain garland with those. I always just do whatever I want to do. So maybe, maybe this will give you guys some ideas as you're shopping this year for Halloween supplies. Here I have some other embellishments. I love working with embellishments, especially these. These are like, these are buttons, but I like adding them to different things. You can make jewelry, you can make all sorts of stuff. And I also look for other objects that I can use and incorporate with Halloween stuff. I have some more. I also like collecting Halloween straws. I used to make a lot of flip books and kind of layer and just do happy mail. And you can obviously use these for drinks if you wanted, but you can craft with them as well. I mentioned before in this video, like you can buy a scrap pad and then cut out all of the images and make your own die cuts. Like this was all from one page and I just made, I just cut these out so they're like, individual tags so over here i have i got these all last halloween season um i found these like at tj maxx they're just little cupcake picks and i like working with those they're super easy to craft with you can do so many things with them you can make like little garlands you can add them as embellishments on treat bags so so many ideas these came from michael's actually but they're just these little jack-o-lantern ones then i got these ghost like little skeletons back here little transparent ghosts which are super cute little skulls bats witches i thought these were darling because it has the yarn as hair super super cute i think that's it for that row and down here i just have some of my ribbon from my collection that i know I'll work with a lot because um, my go-to template when it comes to Halloween crafting is obviously like orange, black, and white. Then I like doing silver and sometimes I'll keep like purple things out so I can grab those. But obviously Halloween ribbon, you can do so many things with it. Like I know I say that you can do so many things with everything, but you really can. It's just about thinking outside the box. I love collecting Halloween ribbon. So this is some some of the little ones that I have. I probably will rotate things just because I have so many Halloween craft supplies. Um, but these ones, I just knew that I would kind of start with those. But yeah, I have a lot of ribbon. I have a lot of twine. Twine is also fun to work with. You use that for garlands, use that for treat bags. You can use it for your journals, planning, all sorts of stuff. But I also like getting just random little garland bits that aren't really traditional Halloween, but you can make them Halloween. These tassels, I made some Halloween pillows a few years ago on my channel as part of my HIY series. And then I have just some more bits of ribbon down here. I love collecting these little ones. I got these from Hobby Lobby a long time ago, but I think Michael's had a few bits of them sometimes, but these ones are super, super old. And then I just also have some different ribbon. Like this set was from the Martha Stewart collection when she had Halloween out all the time. 
And these I got from Hobby Lobby. These are from Doodlebug Design. This was like when Hobby Lobby actually carried Halloween stuff. <laughs> And then just more little bits of ribbon adhesive strips. So here's like some sparkly ones. These are from the Paper Studio. And then I got these from K and Company. They're like these spooky adhesive borders. Those are really old. Like they're probably eight or nine years old, these two. What else do we got back here? More little adhesive borders. These are really fun. I just was working with this with these for my March layout. These also are from Doodlebug Design. Even if you get basic craft things and if you get it in a Halloween color palette, like you're good to go. You could do so much with it and even just adding one pumpkin to it just really changes it. Some other little borders that I have. These are like a vellum, like acid sheet kind of thing. And then I also have these cardstock strips. These are good for scrapbooking. I don't know, if ever I see anything, I get it because I know I'm always gonna think of some way to use it. And then once you start thinking outside the box, it becomes easier. This one was from a Halloween banner. I think I just put these little die cuts. Or no, actually they're tags. I think I got them from some kind of bag, little treat bag kit, but I was like, oh, I could use those for something. So I just went ahead and put them in that little container. And then these are just some little, uh, I think these are resin or acrylic. These are from Dress It Up. It's Nightmare on Elm Street little embellishments. I have some more of my washi tape. I got a set of these baskets from the thrift store and they're so, so cute. I have another one that's orange and they're like one of my favorite little treasures, but I just have a lot of, I have some of my washi tape in here. I have some Halloween and then some how, um, solid colors. And these are more little embellishments. Someone asked me in my last video where I got these clear envelopes from. They're like, you can separate bills, you can do stamps, stickers, whatever, but I got them from Amazon. And then I got these little like twine and little borders ribbon as you can see these came from tuesday morning i got these a long long time ago and then these adhesive little banners because you can always add to these like you can glue something on to make them really cute i'm using these clear envelopes they come in different sizes but just to kind of organize like supplies i'm gonna turn this around for a second back here i just had these little containers these are just little scraps that I've made or collected throughout my crafting career, if you say. Um, but yeah, I just kind of organize these. Like I know that these are probably a lot of my style of things that I like to use. Organize that like black and orange and white. And then this one is just less items that I probably won't use. A lot of die cuts there. And then here I had like a bunch of purple and green leftover stickers and die cuts and I went ahead and just paired them in here so I know I'm not looking for my typical palette I can look there and then here I just have a few sticker packs that I know I will use I think I got these from Target no American Greetings where did I get these from I can't remember where I got these from is it Michaels maybe this is from Paper Studio this Pad is like non-existent almost. I've had that for like 10 years. Back here I just have a few leftover cards that I've made, little Halloween cards. I think I kept them back here because I'm like in case I need some of these embellishments. <laughs> Random leftover ribbon these are like spider pattern ribbon i love those so much hopefully you guys can see i have like these little chipboard die cuts i haven't really used them much because i just the colors are a little too bright when i'm working with things but they're pretty cute they're just like random objects just random shapes that are different halloween colors 
can use them as tags. You can make your own embellishments. So I just kind of kept those there. I know I can use those for something. And then recently someone had sent me some Halloween happy mail and they included some scraps of fabric. So I put that here. Over the years, I've had some bows made and sent to me. And so I keep them out because I'll add them to my planner if I'm not wearing them. And I just, you can do so many things with them. I also decorate my Halloween tree with them. Back here, I just had some random little bags that were recently sent to me and I knew that I would use those. So I just kept those in my cart. And then here, because I used to, when I would throw my Halloween parties back in Kansas, I would always hand make my Halloween invites, which was like one of my favorite things to do in life. And I just kept these cards that I've gotten because you can always make I don't know, I just love making Halloween cards. They're so fun, so fun to send people. And then I got a few more paper pads back here. These are a little bit larger, not as big as the big ones, if you know what I mean. I keep those in my closet, but got these from Michaels. These are recollections. I think they're the same, yeah. Do a little flip through. But here's what I'm talking about. Like, you can take this out and you could frame it and it would make such cute little spooky artwork. You could do that one. And then I love when a paper pad does like borders because you can cut it up. So, so cute. And then I just have more envelopes like white large envelopes black large envelopes back there pack that my friend ashley gave me when i was doing my planners for last year it was so sweet of her so i have those because those are really cute and i know i could use those easily and then down here these are just random things that i have so most of these bits are from when i was decorating my planners and so i just kind of kept everything like all of my photos and stuff that I knew I would be using for like collages. Halloween Town. <laughs> A lot of these stickers. They're like these little glue dots kind of. Um, I forget what these are called. Enamel dots. Um, some jewels. Some bedazzled stars and some cute little spiders and bows. We have pumpkins down here. Kind of forgot those were there. So maybe I should put... Okay, I'll just have to remember. I got these a long time ago. This came in a, like a, what do you call it? Like a paper garland, like a ring garland where you take each thing, each stripe and you attach it. I just said what it was, a chain garland. Yeah, chain link garland chain link garland oh my god uh but i got this in like a kit and i use them as like scrapbook paper just to add some layering and some texture and then in this little guy i just have extra ribbon a lot of times when i do get mail if there's like any ribbon in it, I definitely save all the scraps. I'm a firm believer in recycling, reusing on anything that is Halloween related. Like if it's a scrap of ribbon, oh, I'm gonna save it. Like, come on, I'm gonna save all the scraps, all the scraps. <laughs> But those are good just to tie like on paper clips. You can tie on your planner, journals, all sorts of stuff. So that's my current craft cart setup for spooky crafting. I use all of this stuff when I'm doing like my monthly spreads, when I'm making or sending any Halloween mail, when I'm making my cards, journaling, all sorts of stuff. Love just having everything that I know I can use quick and easy, accessible, because then it just takes up time from having to find everything, like crafts in that one. There's crafts in there. There's crafts in the closet. Like it's just, it's a good start to have a craft cart. I highly recommend it. I hope you guys like this video. Let me know what you think of my spooky craft cart. I love it so much and I'm so glad that you guys were able to watch today's video. I hope you're all doing well. I hope this video finds you having a Halloween happy kind of day and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!